Hey everybody, it's me, LaRasha, Goddess Queen, Just Me, 23, and this is going to be another Zodiac sign reading, and Leos, you are up. So this is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, as well as Venus and Mercury. Or if you are a cross-watcher and you're dealing with somebody that has strong Leo in their chart, this is for you too. Or if you are a cuss baby, Leo, this is for you too. Or if you are um, just guided to this video and you don't have Leo in your chart and you're not dealing with anybody that has Leo in their chart, maybe there's some messages in this video for you too. Keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with everybody. If it does resonate, please like my channel, subscribe to my channel, comment as well as share. If it does not resonate, please try your moon sign, which is also, um, as well as your rising sign, which is considered as your ascendant sign in your birth chart. And in order to get your rising sign, which is your ascendant sign, you have to have your name, your date of birth, the time you're born, as well as your location. If you don't have all that information, you'll still be able to get your sun sign, your moon sign. And I say pay attention to your Venus as well as your Mercury. Okay, I am now including cuss babies in my videos now. So I am myself a cuss baby. I'm a Taurus slash uh, Leo. I mean Taurus slash, sorry, Gemini. I'm a Leo rising. I was like, I'm a Leo, but I'm a Leo rising. Um, but again, I'm including cuss babies now because again, 2019 is about involving. As far as when it comes to your sun sign, it has to do with all the energies that you're trying to harness. Um, so let's say if you are a Leo or um, a cuss baby, whatever your cuss sign is, you're trying to harness whatever your sun sign is before you pass over in this lifetime. So if you have two sun signs, as far as you being a Leo cusp um, baby um, or another cusp, um, then you have two different uh, energies that you're trying to harness before the end, you end this lifetime, okay? So it means like you have an extra work than everybody else or you have an advantage over everybody else, okay? So depending on how you basically um, handle your energy as far as balancing what you have in your overall birth chart, okay? So again, um, if you are new to my channel, I uh, have intros in all of, oh, all of my videos, and I also have messages to the collective. If you are pressed on time and you don't want to hear me talk, I always have a timestamp in the bottom section of the comments of my videos. Just scroll past my videos, all the other readers that's underneath me, and then go directly to the comment section. There will be a timestamp there. Uh, moving forward, if you use your free will to say that I talk too much, when you can go directly to the beginning of the reading, you will get blocked and you will not be able to come back on my channel. As well as for the people that tell me to remove my music from the, my readings, I'm not removing my music. I am clairaudient. I have a different gift than other readers. And then I'm also here helping everybody else that are learning that they're clairaudient, how to use their gift as well, okay? Um, so as far as the different energies, uh, shifts that's been going on, again, we had the uh, new moon in Taurus on May the 4th. Um, which was the the moon of leap of faith, um, leaps of faith. So again, you'll see a lot of people take leaps of faith. Then we have the Scorpio full moon on May the 18th, which are things that have been hitting, um, things, secrets, things like that getting revealed, the veil being removed um, as another, another layer of the veil being removed as well. So a lot of things happening, um, ending of Taurus, as well as Gemini season from May the 13th. May the 17th to May the 23rd. So now we're in that Gemini energy. So a lot of people could be either, you know, trying to manifesting, manifesting their reality, um, being creative, starting new things, finding a new direction, the new perspective. And then also that Gemini energy also brings that air energy as far as rebellion. So there could be, depending on where you are, as far as your energy are the people that's around you, you could be seeing this different things in your environment, okay? Um, so let's keep moving forward. The cards that I use in my videos have already been shuffled. Um, the main deck, I will shuffle them on camera. The, the other cards have already been shuffled. We'll cut them on camera. If you're interested in purchasing any of these decks, they're also listed in the description box of my video, as well as I have my own Amazon store where you can purchase the decks if they're available on Amazon. If you're interested in energy healing, incense, everything that's helping you on your environment, um, your in your journey, as well as your enlightenment. I use this stuff personally on myself, my family, my friends, as well as my clients, okay? I also have my past life deck because a lot of people are trying to heal past life trauma, past life relationships, being familiarized with certain past life they possibly could have so that I have this deck out here to help you with your growth as well.
And then I also have my fortune teller deck that helps with that as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So again, this is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, as well as Venus and Mercury, okay? And then also Capricorn Cusp, or if you are a cross-watcher and you're dealing with somebody that has strong, oh, Capricorn. Sorry, I just got finished doing Capricorn. Sorry. So this is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, as well as Venus and Mercury. Or if you are Leo Cusp, baby, this is for you too. Or if you're a cross-watcher and you're dealing with somebody that has strong Leo in their chart as well. I apologize. Oh, wow. These cards do not want to shuffle. I'm going to shuffle it three more times. This next time, whatever at the bottom of the deck, I'll take it as part of your energy. So we have the three of cups. And when the three of cups is reversed, this is about, okay, so uh, just going off the bat, this is about overindulging in certain uh, alcohol. So some of you Leos are the person that you can be dealing with could be overindulging in alcohol. Or if it's not alcohol, they could be overindulging in drugs, something that's causing them to see illusions or not them being their normal self. When the rever when this is also reversed as far as the Three of Cups, this is also about an unexpected pregnancy. So some of you Leos or cross watchers could be dealing with an unexpected pregnancy. And then this also involves cheating, okay? So again, third party energies, meaning that you are dealing with somebody that possibly put you in a third party situation. Or Leos, you possibly could have put somebody else in a third party situation, okay? Okay, so let's see. We have the moon card. So the moon card being upright. We have the queen of cups being reversed. We have the nine of wands being reversed. And then we have the sun card being reversed. And then we have the four of pinnacles being upright. So when the four of pinnacles comes out, this is about somebody holding on to a connection. Um, when it comes to this four of pinnacles could be somebody that's basically being greedy or they're being selfish, okay? They're not wanting to let something go. And this could be a connection. It could be finances. This could be their time or them just being overall selfish, okay? When it also comes out, let's say as far as the good portion as you know the good uh, characteristics of this card it represents material power so there could be a lot of you leros or cross watchers that are dealing with as far as when it comes to your financial stability you could be it's you, everything's going good okay you feel like you're making the right investments um you know when it's your finances i feel that you're feeling stable okay um, some of y'all could be focusing more on yourself. So let's say if you are being selfish, it's, you're being selfish for a reason. And again, you had the four of cups being, I mean, the three of cups being reversed. So let's say if you removed yourself from a situation and somebody was cheating on you, or if this person was, you know, uh, choosing alcohol over you um, or some type of addiction or something that they're overindulging in. I feel that some of y'all are focusing more on yourself, your own self-worth, okay? So is what I'm getting. Um, when the moon card comes out, this is about secrets, things coming to a, a revealed. So again, some of y'all could have basically uh, found out that somebody could have been cheating on you or there could have been some of you Leos. Let's say if you are pregnant, you could be hiding that you are pregnant. That could be a secret that you're holding back from everybody else is what I'm hearing too. Um, but when the moon card comes out, this is about things getting revealed. So again, we just had the Scorpio 
full moon on May the 18th. So again, this could have been something that has been revealed to you. Some things that have been hidden have been revealed to you. I feel, let's say if somebody has been hiding, so let's say if this person cheated on you in the past, Leo or cross watchers, this Leo cheated on you in the past, I feel that this person could be coming to you and exposing some type of truth or some type of secrets. I feel that some of you Leos possibly could have been living in certain illusions, um, again, dealing with deception as well as overall fears, okay? So again, if somebody um, could have been cheating um, and they got and somebody pregnant is what I'm hearing, and this could cause you a lot of emotional pain leo our cross watchers when we have the queen of cups being reversed this is about somebody being very manipulative so again somebody could be manipulating manipulating their emotions um as far as keeping secrets hidden is what i'm hearing as well um when the queen of cups so again this is cancer pisces as well as scorpio so some of y'all could be dealing with somebody that has this in their chart we also have the moon card which also represents pisces and then we also have the sun card which is also represents fire so it also represents you leo too so they uh leo and then sagittarius as well as aries okay um as far as the face cards that we have here so I feel that somebody, again, was manipulating their emotions. So let's say if this person in the past was cheating or they were using alcohol, which was keeping them in certain illusions, or if they were dealing with more than per through more than one person, Leo, our cross watchers as Leo, was putting you in a third-party situation. I feel, again, that this has caused you to be very over-emotional. I feel, again, that somebody has been manipulating the situation. There could be some of y'all that are dealing with somebody that was just more of a status seeker, is what I'm hearing, or a people pleaser. I feel that this is also represents a gold digger as well so somebody could have been just there for um, material assets and again they could have been manipulating their emotions in order to get certain things from you and again that could be something that could have been revealed to you leo our cross watchers as well um, but when the moon card com comes out so let's say if this is you leo our cross watchers you're going through some type of um, let's say if you're going through the dark night of the soul because it's, the moon card also represents your shadow self so some of y'all could have been you know trying to um remove yourself from certain dark sides um like let's say if you were trying to remove yourself from dark things about yourself i feel again that y'all could have been putting more time and in investing in yourself and removing yourself from your shadow side is what i'm hearing and it could have caused you also to be over emotional or cause you to overindulge in certain things that were not good for you as well leo is what i'm hearing but i feel that some of y'all are separating yourself you possibly could be separating yourself from um again a water sign or possible it could be another fire sign or leo this water sign possibly could be leaving you um we have the nine of wands being reversed and when the nine of wands is reversed this is about over compromising and then also feeling like certain things were overbearing to you so i feel that leo's a lot of thing again if this is a secrets that have been re that are going to be getting revealed to you i feel that this could be a little bit overbearing again let's say if somebody was hiding back of pregnancy or if this person cheated on you and they you're finding out that somebody got somebody pregnant again this could be something that's going to be very over emotional for you and cause you to remove yourself from this relationship i feel that there's some slander that possibly could be involved because when the nine of wands is reversed this is about slander um as well um this is also about somebody recovering um a certain from recovering so again some of y'all could be recovering from alcoholism or a drug addiction is what i'm hearing as well somebody's trying to overcome that and they're working through it which is causing them to be a little bit over sense uh, over sensitive or not their regular um emotional self is what i'm hearing as well so when the nine of wands is also reversed this is about again um uh, unprepared so again some of y'all are going to be unprepared for this news or unprepared for the this truth that's going to be revealed to you when we have the sun card being reversed this is about again somebody being um arrogant lies the painful truth of a situ situation feeling like you lost something so i feel that leos y'all feel like y'all lost something as well as feeling like you are overall failure okay i feel let's say if you are having illness and illnesses some of y'all are dealing with illnesses and y'all need to get your health back together is what i'm hearing because when the nine of wands is reversed this is about um also dealing about with illness health and then the sun card is also about illness illnesses as well um some of y'all possibly are dealing with somebody that has anger issues too is what i'm hearing um so there could be an ending to a relationship and it could be an ending to a water sign relationship or if they don't have water in their chart they possibly could have fire in their chart or like i was saying leo you could this person could be ending a relationship with you after some type of truth has been revealed to them we have the Knight of Cups coming out upright. We have the 
four of cups being reversed and then we have the tower card being reversed so let's say if this is somebody that's coming back from your past this person possibly could have again cheated or there could have been an unexpected pregnancy i feel that somebody's focus was somewhere else this person could have kept you as a secret leo or cross watchers um leo you could have kept uh cross watchers as leo could have kept you as a secret now i feel that somebody is wanting to focus on somebody okay um let's say if they were not focusing on you before or again if they were keeping you hidden i feel that somebody was possibly keeping somebody hidden and it could have been let's say if they were cheating or they had somebody else they could have been keeping you as a secret and the reason why they were keeping you as a secret could have been that this person that they were dealing with was somebody that was very overly emotional or very overly dramatic this person could have had very temper issues and this person could have been just um trying to keep you out of the drama and i'm not trying to i'm not trying to take up for this person but i'm just hearing what they're saying and i feel that let's say if this person did keep the, your relationship secret they kept you a relationship secret for a reason okay because whoever they were dealing with possibly was not emotionally um stable and they had some type of illness and they possibly could have felt that this person was going to cause you some type of hurt hurt or some type of harm is what i'm hearing because i feel that somebody is dealing with somebody that has a bad temper and they um very manipulative when it comes to their anger issues are again with their emotional state is what i'm hearing um when we have the four of cups being reversed this is also about again um somebody seizing an opportunity after they missed an opportunity so again let's say if this person was holding back and not expressing how much they really cared about you or again if they were keeping you secretive i feel again that this person is now taking um making effort on an opportunity that they possibly felt like they missed so i feel that somebody's been to see something i feel again if this person made you feel any um they, they possibly made you feel dissatisfied as far as the way that they basically treated this relationship again if they hid it you from somebody again i feel that this person is now putting their focus on you after they know they basically caused some type of rejection i feel again let's say if somebody was indecisive um them being indecisive you possibly could have walked away from this person which caused a tower moment in this person's life or caused a major sh a shake up because i feel that there was a breakup that did take part in this relationship again let's say if somebody was being stubborn if they were not expressing themselves or they were not opening up emotionally again it caused them to miss out on some, op some type of opportunity when it comes to this connection and now this person is coming um with a love offer they're coming to, and being very sincere about what it is that they're wanting to do when we have the knight of cups coming out this is about somebody that's basically charming they're the good listener and they're wanting to be the good lover so again when it's reversed the tower card when this is reversed this is letting me know that things are getting better a reconstruction some type of purging that had to take place again the dead the dust studding the dust settling after the storm so some of y'all possibly could have been dealing with bad weather as well as what i want to say because the sun card when that's reversed that has to do with bad weather so there could be some bad weather in the area that you're in as well yeah the knight of Pentacles. so this coming this person is coming with an offer i feel that this person has thought long and hard about the the missed opportunities that they have had as far as when it comes to this relationship if they caused you to be experience any type of hurt or cause you to be overly as sensitive in this relationship because they were causing major delays again i feel again this is going to be a change that's going to happen as far as when it comes to the relationship between you and them again if this person i feel it let's say if they were keeping you a secret i feel that this person is going to be revealing you as as somebody that they love is what i'm hearing too yeah because they see you as a star they're wanting to bring this relationship back again i feel that this person possibly had to go through some type of transformation or leos you had to go through some type of transformation in order to bring your self-esteem your self-worth back i feel again that this person right now again is determined to bring this relationship back they see you as a star so this is again about also leo some of you are cross watchers your spiritual gifts can be hiding heightening at this time again during the, the full moon again some of y'all could have been getting revealed certain gifts that you possibly didn't know that you had as well but again i feel that somebody's going through their own self-discovery phase again if they uh, if they have been overly emotional or if they have had issues as far as when it comes to their temper i feel uh, that this person is learning to control that if this is somebody that's coming back from the past and they're bringing you some offer again this person is now wanting to focus on you okay is what i'm hearing we have children so again um this situation could be involving children this person this card comes out 
also represents somebody could have been acting childish as well you're dealing with childish behavior but again i feel that this person again there could be an unexpected pregnancy that's getting revealed or leos you possibly could be finding out that you are pregnant and you're possibly could have been keeping in the secret and now you're finally getting ready to reveal that as well if this person is coming back from your past this person possibly couldn't want to have children with you and that could be the new beginning that you and this person is getting ready to have i feel let's say if there is a baby that's or a pregnancy that's involved there could be an Aquarius baby that's coming. You can have this baby in Aquarius. They could be Aquarius is what I'm hearing. Or, or, uh, yeah, they could be Aquarius. This baby is going to be Aquarius. We have flirt. So again, flirting, bringing that childlike energy. When you bring that childlike energy, it allows you to be able to flirt. It allows you to be in that unconditional love where you can give it as well as receive it. So again, at Leo's, let's say if you are removing yourself from a relationship or you have been single for a while, again, I feel that there could be a lot of different people that's coming to you that's expressing how much, uh, you know, they're attracted to you. So you could be flirting with them or other people can be flirting with you. If this person is coming back, they're coming in flirtatious energy, okay? So they could come in with like intimacy energy, okay? Um, we have extend your lighthearted energy to others. We have pay attention to the red flag. So it says the signs are cautioning you now. So again, if this person, if you are, okay, like how I was saying earlier, let's say if this person was keeping you as a secret of a relationship, this person was seeing um, red flags about the other person that they were dealing with. And that was the reason why they kept you a secret because they didn't want to bring any more harm to the relationship than what they already have so i feel again that this person was paying attention and they were trying to protect you leos even though if they you know dealing that some of y'all possibly feel that who cares i heard somebody say who cares but again if this person is dangerous and you don't know how this other person reacts again if this person is keeping you keeping you safe that's something that you should be grateful that this person is doing even though they put you in a bad situation as far as a third party situations if y'all understand what i'm saying some of y'all realize and let's say if you are dealing with somebody that has mental issues or if they overindulge in alcohol which causes them to be violent i feel that some of y'all are paying attention to that some of y'all again are going to be very cautious when this person comes back again if this person is overly emotional and they're expressing their truth to you you could also be a little bit cautious about this too but again this person is coming in um as somebody brand new okay so remember that this person is coming back as somebody brand new we have autumn so again you and this person could have broke up or there could have been um again something that was exposed um back last autumn with this card is coming out again i feel that some of y'all possibly also again could be getting pregnant in the autumn and again that could be when you could be fine um and finding out that you're pregnant again some of y'all are, are finding out that you're pregnant and you're going to be having a baby aquarius baby is what i, I keep hearing an aquarius baby okay so it says in the fall season everything comes together you re um you reap wonderful harvest of abundance so let's say if this person is removing their self from a relationship or Leo's, you're removing yourself from a relationship and you need to do the things that you need to do as far as healing yourself and just spending more time and in, in investing in yourself. By autumn, I feel that you're going to be able to get your, you're going to have yourself back together, which is going to bring a brand new with you with the, that's going to create a brand new you okay so i feel by autumn a lot of y'all let's say if you are going through heartache or you are getting secrets that's revealed to you by autumn i feel that you're going to be in a better position okay we have asked for what it is that you want so it says let the universe and other people know what you need this card came out in my Capricorn as well as my Libra reading. I did say Capricorn earlier. So if you are um, dealing with somebody that's a Capricorn or have Libra in their chart, you probably want to watch that reading as well. But this is just basically speaking to the universe, speaking to your ancestors, speaking to your higher self on what it is that you want. Meditation, prayers, whichever that you do, affirmations, um, doing the things that you need to do in order for you to manifest your own reality, okay? It says emotional healing. So it says, as your heart heals of old emotional pain, you receive new blessings of love. So again, removing yourself from something that no longer serves you. Again, if some of y'all are separating yourself from somebody that kept you as a secret and then you're finding out that this person got somebody else pregnant or again, they were choosing alcohol or overindulging or, um, in other things and not basically, um, you know, 
putting a hundred percent in your relationship i feel that some of y'all are surrendering and you're removing yourself from that and it's going to involve that you have to do some type of emotional healing within yourself so healing your 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 root chakra your heart chakra um allowing yourself to you know just go through this transformation and that purging so mentally mentally physically as well as emotionally okay so if you have to take part of energy healing stones or meditation or spiritual baths do that is what i'm hearing since you have the sun card being reverse leo or cross watchers one stone that i'm going to recommend that you get is some diamonds you also have the tower stone being reversed which represents ru rubies is one thing that i'll tell you to get you also have the star card coming out and when when the star card comes out turquoise so turquoise would also be good that would help you through your spiritual awakening and then you also have the moon card which is also moonstone moonstone helps you um, with your illumination especially if you're somebody that has spiritual gifts that are getting um you know revealed to you moonstone if you're very intuitive moonstone would help you as well okay if you have a lot of water in your chart moonstone would help you too okay We have nightingale spirit so it says love is all around you knowing that the universe your higher self your ancestors even your soul tribe is around you to help you knowing that you know you're never alone knowing that you're never alone in a certain situation leo knowing that there's always somebody that's there when you ask for the help you have to ask for the help and then once you ask for the help when it comes to your guides your angels even the universe once you ask for that help that's when they'll start you know providing for you so we have a 41 here which is a five which is about conflicts which brings change we have parrot spirit so it says watch your words so again if this person is coming back and they're bringing some truth y'all not saying things that you know that's going to cause more hurt in the relationship so watching your words leo watching what you say cross watchers watching what you say to this person especially if you know that this person is very oversensitive especially if they're realizing the bad mistakes or the 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 habits that they have done and i feel again that this person could have possibly been you know drinking or overindulging in certain things to take away the pain okay we have a 45 here, which is a nine. So again, that's about movement, moving on, happiness, and growth, okay? We have vulture spirit. So it says nothing is wasting, knowing that no time is wasting, knowing that everything is going to work out in your favor. Again, if you put an effort in something and it does not work out for you, knowing that that was not time wasted, because again, it possibly made you go through a journey or go through a lesson that you possibly needed to learn, okay? So we have 63 here, which is which is another nine. So a lot of y'all could be seeing nines. A lot of y'all could be seeing fours. Fours is about stability as well. We have daydreams and decisions. So somebody could be in nostalgia mode. Again, you could be getting visions um, while you're awake, even visions while you're asleep. Um, some type of synchronicity, some type of um, messages in the spiritual realm is what I'm hearing as well. I feel that somebody is finally getting ready to make a decision on what it is they're wanting to do. Again, let's say if they were undecisive, which they realize that them being undecisive caused them to miss a lot of opportunities. I feel again that this person is finally making a decision on what it is, what they're wanting to do as far as when it comes to the this relationship we have a seven here which is about mystery again dna activations um synchronicity seeing signs seeing um getting dreams um getting revealed to you as well we have strengthening the bond so this person is wanting to strengthen the bond they're wanting to rebuild the relationship they're wanting to um bring it back together again this is about new beginnings uh for you um uh leos as well because you have a, nu a number one here strengthening the bond within yourself again gaining your strength gaining your courage being that leo that you are okay gaining your passion back is what i'm getting built strength strengthening your bond is basically allowing all seven of your, uh aligning all seven of your chakras so starting with your root all the way to the crown okay building those bonds back that you know that's worth it we have clarity of belief, okay? So some of y'all... Um some of y'all could have been uh, basically questioning your belief system. So if it's not your belief system as far as religion, this could also be childhood, certain morals or certain ways of that, that were taught to you by, you know, adults. 
um basically you having to live a certain life by you know the people that you were brought up in and i feel that some of y'all could be getting clarity from certain things of certain ways that you were living um your life as far as the way that your parents brought you up or again it could be religion or again letting go of something that didn't serve you from your childhood and again clarity of beliefs you basically putting together your own belief system that's going to help you move forward in your journey okay so i feel that somebody has a new belief a new journey a new beginning when it comes to the ways of the life that they were living in the past and I feel again that this person has a new opportunity and it could be again them changing their belief systems them going from spirit and religious more to spiritual are just taking more of a spiritual path is what I'm hearing um Leo's we have unseen blessings so this is going to be a blessing to you that you possibly were not seeing before leo again if you're removing yourself from a relationship that's no longer serving you you have unseen blessings that's going to bring uh that's coming to you from this okay so again if this person is coming back from your past this is going to be an unseen blessing again you could have been waiting for this person you possibly didn't think that this person was going to be returning back to you leo no so again i feel again that some of y'all are going to be removing yourself from a certain situation that's no longer serving you if y'all are looking for the sign of a no it's coming out here for a no okay not returning back to a relationship especially if you're dealing with somebody that's trying to uh deal with addictions and again these addictions are not serving you i feel again they're saying for you to cut yourself from that okay leo it says expand your perspective. So again, being in that Gemini energy, being in that full energy, being the magician of your own reality, wanting new things, wanting new beginnings, new perspective, something uh, starting fresh, starting something new and being open-minded while you do that. So I feel again, they're saying expand your horizons. Again, let's say if you uh, were not expanding your horizon when it comes to your belief system, again, some of y'all possibly had to leave the religion background alone and go more spiritual to understand what it is that's going on in your life in the journey that you have that's for you okay not for what your parents or your grandparents or whoever taught you when you were younger i feel that somebody is taking part of their own belief system in order for them to help them with their own growth so i feel that somebody is expanding their horizons when it comes to that as well okay so past life card we have baby so again the unexpected pregnancy i feel again that there could be a baby that's involved something somebody's gonna be finding that they're pregnant again if this person is coming back from the past i feel that this person could be wanting to have a baby with you again some of y'all possibly were not seeing the blessing in this this unexpected pregnancy but again it's going to bring unseen blessings to you okay this baby is going to bring unseen blessings to you we have Greco and romos rome rome uh roman so again some of y'all could have had a past life in greek some of y'all could uh, greek greece and rome are greek mythology or the rome mythology um the rome that roman background is what i'm hearing so like G julius caesar cleopatra things like that back in those days okay some of y'all possibly also are uh, thinking about taking a trip there so if you have a passport some of y'all possibly need to take a trip there and it would also help you unlock a uh a uh, a past life is what i'm hearing we have love life so this situation involves your love life strengthening your love life back okay so i want to read the love life card for the past life to see what this means Okay, so it says this card comes to you as a indication that your love life is affected by one or more previous lifetimes. Mostly like you have had a painful experience back then that has caused you to be overly cautious. In such cases, working on yourself can help you reopen your beautiful loving heart. And that way you can love and be loved again. It's also likely that this card comes to you as validation that a man or woman you are romantically interested in, interested in was a, also a also a permanent person in your uh, a a permanent person in your past life. This individual may not necessarily have to be a romantic partner at this time, but it's your um but your 
but you but you connecting romantically in this lifetime is definitely part of a greater plan so again this person that you're dealing with could have been somebody that was in a lifetime from you in the past life again some of y'all are realizing again that some of y'all that you love the interest that you're in love with now you and this person experiencing past lives in the past some of y'all again let's say if you um are dealing with somebody again from your past life relationship and you're ending that that could be something that's being revealed to you as well okay okay so let's keep moving forward we have judas uh adjudication so again some of y'all could be going to okay let's say if you leos are cross watchers um that's dealing with the leos if you are removing yourself from a relationship and you're finding out that somebody cheated on you you could be and you and this person have children you could be going to court to battle you know custody of the child again let's say if there is some of you that are finding out that you're pregnant i feel that some of y'all possibly could be going to the courthouse to get married too this is going to cause you and this person to get married, which again, a baby does not, but I, I feel that that's going to be somebody, somebody's decision is going to be doing that. If they, if y'all end up having a baby, I feel that this person is going to be saying, okay, let's go ahead and go get married again is what I'm hearing. We have a third, a three here, which is about again, connection. We have community. So again, we have a 39 here. So again, um, somebody could be also somebody could be somebody that's very, um, um, seen in the public is what I'm hearing. So some y'all, some of y'all are dealing with somebody that's very um, um, seen in the public. As far as when it, our our Leos, um, you could be doing a lot of things right now. As far as when it comes to the community, your community, you doing things from your, the public as well as the community is what I'm hearing as well. Um, Thirty nine is that's eleven. So this could be a twin flame uh, relationship, or again, you could be seeing ones, which you do have ones here, which ones are about new beginnings. So yeah, so I feel that there's some uh, Leo or cross watchers. There could be a job or there could be something that can bring you abundance as far as you doing a project, as far as when it has to do with the com community. Um, you taking part of something that has to do with the community is going to bring you um, a lot of abundance in the near future, okay? Or some of y'all could be thinking about doing some type of volunteer work in the community. We have expectations. So again, let's say if this person, um, as far as the expectations that you had for this person, let's say again, some of y'all possibly had expectations. One thing that I have learned, never put expectations on somebody because it always does not work in your favor. Because again, you could be trying to make this person do something that they're not capable of. So again, they're saying for you to watch your expectations. Again, some of y'all could have set high bars for this person. This person was not able to complete it. But again, expectations also means, um, again, I feel that this person, you were not expecting for this person to turn around is what i'm hearing i feel that somebody was not expecting for this person was to turn around and this person is coming in with some type of new offer okay we have a 28 here which is a 10 so again ones again new beginnings new blessings that's coming to you leos Yeah, expectations. Set some expectations. I feel, again, there's some going to be some goals that you need to set for yourself, Leo. Especially if you're going to be make, working out in the cup, the public. I feel, again, that there, there's some, some things that you need to do in order to get you to the step that you need to be, okay? So they're saying for you to make sure if you're going to do this, for you to basically set, set expectations for yourself, um, knowing that it is going to be some work in order for you to achieve what it is that you need to do, okay? So they're saying be patient while you do it. Um, last card so it says look inside yourself so it says exa examine what it what it what is causing you to feel this way so it, going within yourself going within first leo going within first realizing what it is that's causing you any pain or causing you f to not move forward again looking within yourself healing yourself mentally physically as well as emotionally which is going to cause you to go on your own little self-discovery phase where you realize your own self-worth and when you realize your own self-worth you have done the things that you need to do as far as healing yourself within and when you heal yourself within it brings a lot of positive things into your life okay so go within yourself follow your intuition follow your gut 
instance um when it is that you when you're trying to make a decision on what it is that you're wanting to do okay so hopefully um so the the cards that we have in this reading